Okay, and so here we are. We're going to start to create our next um, sprite, which will be scared eyes. So I will go back and let me hide this. Let me lock it. I'm going to grab all of the frames, copy it. Go to all six frame and paste it on. And once again, I think I can move faster if I simply delete the eyelid layer and redraw it. Now we have our eye here and we want to make this look like she is scared. And naturally with your eyes, when you're scared, um, they tend to stretch a little up and widen, kind of like, like this. So I'm going to fill this in. And the last part I want to do is at the the lashes because I think I want her whole eyeball to kind of show so I want to just add her lash for the eyelid the more I look at her eyes I'm really just starting to like only this portion of the lash to show And I think just for this angle, she's very subtle. I'm going to um, shrink the eye just a little bit. Great, so now we're moving over to the seventh um, sprite. And that is the scared clothes. And I'm going to bounce back to Adobe Animate. And this time I want to, um, I want to grab one of my clothes angles. Let me paste these frames. All right, there we go. And this is already a tight close, but I'm trying to figure out ways to still make it look scared. So what I want to do is play around with some of the line work to see if I can come up with a, a slightly different look than what we're seeing. So during this part of the video, I actually took a little time out it to play around with the eye expression to see how it would look on a character's face and momentarily paused the video and didn't realize I had not resumed the screen recording and as a result there is a facial expression that is not seen in the video and unfortunately, by the time I realized what was done, 
I was already halfway through another eye expression. So I do apologize for that. Um, it was a closed eye that was not recorded, but hopefully you will still get the overall basics and understanding from this tutorial. Okay, so we're going to go to the next one. Moving to frame 10. 10 is the angry eyes. What I would like to do is copy it, paste it. I want this to go up a little. And on the eyelid layer, I want um, I want her expression to kind of swoop in. All right, I think we can move to the next sprite, which would be Smiley. So what I noticed about Smiley eyes is that they always seem to kind of raise up a little at the bottom. And a lot of the, the rest of the facial expression is illustrated through the eyebrows. So... I like the normal look. I like where the lash, I, I want to raise the lash up just a little bit, but I like that overall look. I think that can be a great happy look. Um, so what I want to do is try to just raise her eyelid up a little from the bottom and widen her eyelid up top. So probably want to go about right here okay going to the next sprite which is happy most facial expressions when they're happy uh it's It's a very nice indicator. It's usually um, your cheeks are raising up, so therefore your eyes at the bottom seems to curve up very similar to smiling, except for you can have more of a, a calm state at the top of your eyelids. So I think what I want to do is increase the curve higher. And I might, depending on how this look, this might be more of my happy, and I might modify Smiley to be a little bit more exaggerated, only because when you're smiling, your cheeks really go up in the air. So I might use this one as my happy. Let me go ahead and make a copy. And I will go back to Smiley, kind of like going back to the drawing board there. And um, I think it'll be easier. Let me delete that line. We exaggerate this a little. Okay, one more sprite. We got one more left to do. And the last one, the angry 
raise bright. Um, hmm. Let me see, I want to see nine and ten. Okay, so nine, we did a like a squint, and then for ten, we definitely did an angry. But I don't know if we need to do an angry squint. I think um, I kind of always like a a very non-expressive eye expression, if that makes sense. It's it's one of those yeah whatever expressions, and I try to throw one into to the characters I make. So for that, what I normally do, and that will probably be the last expression. And again, you can create additional ones past the 13 marker. The only thing you need to remember is that for those eye expressions, you will have to add them in manually if you were trying to import everything in at once. It's gonna stop at 13. So if you have more, be prepared to add those in manually to make it work. But we're going to go back, copy, go to our last set and paste it. Okay, so I think we have a, a nice uh, 13 sprite eye set for a female eye, zero degree angle. And I think the next thing that we just need to go back and do before we test it out is apply the, the mask for each angle, I mean, for each sprite. Now, anything that's got dealing with a closed eye set, there's nothing you need to do. It's really just a static image. Pupils don't need to move in it because the eyelid is closed. So we're going to go back and just pop, go to each one of the um, image layers. Make sure it's unlocked. And I want to select each image layer and copy it and put it on the mask layer. These female eye sprites look really good. Um, so what I'm going to do next, because I want to keep this for my template, because now we have all the eye sprites done the way we want them to look. Now it's just making them look the same, but from a different angle perspective. Um, so I want to keep this, but I also want to test this in the application. So here we are in a dummy template. Um, and what I would like to do is first hide the pivots and because we're not really caring about anything related to this character, we're only using the template to bring in the eyes, I am going to get rid of um, some of the things that I don't want to see so I can just focus on the eyes. Now, I will say this eye size is probably a good um, eye size to go with because most of the standard G2 um, versions will fit this same size eye. And some of them you will have to modify and add and shrink as needed. But I'm gonna go into this eye set and I am going to add another layer because I have a eyelid layer that is not on this one. And what I wanna do is go back 
in each of my frames, I want to copy my frames and I want to paste it onto the dummy template. So I'm going to hit paste and overwrite and then find out where my eye is going. So now this is where we can see that the eye that we've been sketching is extremely large. And I don't want to I don't want to change the size right now. I just basically want all the eyes to fall within the same range. And I want to mark where my top and bottom is so when I drag them in they line up for the most part at the same spot and I will be using the onion skin layer to see each one of them to kind of ensure that they are for the most part in the same place set. Okay, and now that we have our eye, we're going to duplicate it on to the right eye. I'm going to swap it, then I can modify the pupils because if I keep it the way it is right now, the the pupils will be the the highlight of the pupil will be on the wrong side. And the only thing I wanna do is I wanna make sure my eyes are the exact same size. So I am going to look and it's, it looks like it's 58.6 by 27.95. So that's what I'll be manually typing in. So let's put 58.6 for the width. And for the height, it's 27.95. And um, I'm just going to put my guide down just to make sure they line up at the same spot. And what I want to do is flip it. Like this. And now what I'm going to do is go through each layer and um, adjust the pupil. We're going to go ahead and test this real quick to see how the eyes look. And before I start testing, I, I like to go in and check to see if everything imported and correctly. And for some reason, I'm having a problem with three pupils that um, I need to correct. For some reason, they keep switching over from the left side to the right side. However, I can still test the eyes to see how everything is looking. Now, I don't like testing female eyes on a male person so what I'm going to do is really quickly 
I'm going to save my eyes. And I'll just call it um, female eyes. I think we're like on a second or third set. Set three. And then that way I can go out and get rid of this guy with no clothes. And I can bring in Emma. So I'm going to take her into the character composer mode and pop in my eyes and see how she looks. And what I would like to do is bring her eyes down to a position that I think fits her better. So I'm going to bring them both down by two notches. See how it looks. Um, I think she can go one notch on both sides. And I think that looks good. So now what I would love to do is to see how this character facial expressions match up with my character eyes. So we have her nice and zoomed in and I'm just going to go over some face expressions and see how she turns out. Oh no, that is not very nice. I'm upset. So right here, I see that for the angry expression, what they're really using, they're not using the um, they're not using the uh, temp sprite, which is truly the angry. They're using the angry squint, which in my case, I've swapped out as the more of the nonchalant look. And depending on how a lot of the angry expressions go, what I would do is just simply swap them out so that the real, true, angry expressions shows up more with the default animation. It's easy to, to quickly assign, to, to swap the, the frames and reassign them respectively. But I'm gonna to continue to test. What are you saying? Are you serious? This is just too much. Once again, I noticed they use frame Sprite 13 versus Sprite 10 for angry. Bravo, bravo. And left and right. <laughs> No, you listen to me. I'm not going to put up with this because I don't have time to put up with this. I do believe I'm going to swap those two frames out because I don't like the idea of um, angry not looking angry. Okay, so I have popped on the new eyes with the corrections, and I just want to test out some of the expression, expressions again to see how it has improved. Oh no, that is not very nice. I'm upset. What are you saying? Are you serious? This is just too much. No, you listen to me. I'm not going to put up with this because I don't have time to put up with this. Oh, it is ruined. My. 
So, it's either this or that, but we could consider the other. So, we have reached the end of this part of the tutorial. Right now, we have her zero degree angle completely in. So, the next tutorial will be how we redo these eye sets to fit each angle so that when she rotates, they turn um, in their proper angle. But I think this set looks really good. Uh, the only issue that I really see is something that I, I can correct, which is the pupil highlights are in the wrong spot. Doing a quick facial puppeteering you can pull a lot of emotions out of her eyes. So the, I think the expressions went well for this character, for this, for this eye set. And we will begin working in on the different angles and seeing how they come out. So this concludes this tutorial and Take care.